Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV mor Morning Show. I'm Jenna. I am the Bob Robinson. <laughs> and we have a great topic planned for you guys today and it's all based on a common question that we get a lot when we're talking with customers on the phone when we're face to face with them at trade shows and that is what to use when when it comes to heat transfer vinyl. Mm -hmm. And not only just throughout the industry but if just stalls heat transfer vinyl we offer a large variety of different heat transfer vinyls so it can get a little confusing of what to use when when it comes to particular jobs and fabrications so we'll be discussing a lot of that today and i see some of you guys commenting in hi thank you for joining definitely throughout the broadcast feel free to ask ask any qu questions so, so that we can answer <laughs> ask any questions so that we can answer uh, anything that you have when it comes to all the different heat transfer vinyls we also have a special announcement on a new product that we'll be launching but mm. we'll hold that off uh, mm. till a little later in the broadcast uh, but before we get started we want to look at this week's look of the week and this was submitted by Kelly Voss from Hayes Kansas and she submitted this via Facebook on our Saturday show and tell and I just love this look because this pattern is phenomenal. It's one of the ones that is high selling right now because it is such a popular pattern and it's a buffalo plaid and she used it perfectly for Christmas and paired it with a nice raglan t-shirt. So I really like how she went about uh, going about not only the picture because it really mm -hmm. helps sell it, right. uh, but just an overall great finished piece with pairing the red and black pattern with the red sleeves on Definitely that shirt. Definitely a trending look here mm -hmm. with the raglan and the buffalo plaid. Absolutely. Good work. Nice job. All right. So if you are interested in submitting any of your looks that you're creating or any projects that you're doing just for fun, you can do that on our Facebook page every Saturday for the show and tell. And you can tag us on Instagram at Stalls Heat Printing. And um, we also have a few other announcements. So we will be in Las Vegas this week for the SGIA show. And Bob and I uh, have the honor of doing an educational class there Friday at 1030. You want to tell us a little bit about the class? Yeah, it's called A Guide to uh, Cutting Heat Transfer Vinyl, or HTV as we call it, Top Opportunities and Best Practices. So it's going to be very informative. It's going to be perfect, really. We kind of read the room to see who's got a cutter, had it forever, don't have one yet. Mm -hmm. It's going to really going to cover the whole gamut of, of uh, how to cut heat transfer vinyl, some best practices and tips, and some top opportunities as well. Right. All right. So if you are going to be an SGIA, feel free to sign up for that class. Again, that's at 1030 on Friday. Mm -hmm. And some other classes that we're doing outside of trade shows is Workshop Wednesday. So we had our first one uh, here in Pennsylvania, and we are doing it at several other locations. So you can see there, uh, the one that's coming up is November 7th, and it's the Heat Printing 101, how to get started with your heat press. And we'll be doing that from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can see all the locations there, Arizona, California, PA. We'll be doing one at Transfer Express as well in Ohio. So if you are in or around any of those areas, definitely sign up. It's on the Stalls Events page, and you can do one-on-one -on -one education with the Stalls experts. We just had a very successful one this past week um, where we did a graph tech overview and really dove in uh, for people that either have one already or are just getting started or are looking into buying one. Mm -hmm. uh, and we really just walked through and did a great breakdown of the graph tech. And then we had an afternoon class paired with that on some advanced techniques and new things that you can be doing with heat transfer vinyl. Yep. I want to back up to SGIA too. If you, even if you don't make the, that particular class, stop by the booth. We're in booth number 615 or 1615. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually close to the front so you can't miss us. So stop in and say, hey, love to see you guys face to face. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so that uh, covers all the announcements that we have. So we'll go ahead and dive right into the topic. And again, like we mentioned earlier, it's all about what to use when, when it comes to heat transfer vinyl. So we're gonna do a breakdown of each of our heat transfer vinyls, mm -hmm. uh, what I like and what Bob likes about them and um, what they're best used for. So we'll start with one of our most popular and that is fashion film. Yeah, and this first category is kind of in our core, all the solid color type of vinyl. Everybody knows about the special finishes, which we'll get into later, but on the front end, there's there are three that are 
that are all have a specific use for mm -hmm. them, and we'll, we'll talk about those now with fashion film to start. Yeah, so fashion film is great for 100% uh, cotton and cotton poly blend. has a really nice feel to it, and one thing I really like about it is that tacky carrier that it comes with because we can achieve some good details such as this panther head that you're seeing there, and it has a really nice color and it lasts a really long time so it's very durable. All of the heat transfer vinyls uh, except for maybe one or two that we'll be showing today uh, all last 50 washes because at that point that's our minimum pretty yeah. much because we just stopped yeah. uh, testing it at that point. All lab certified. The other thing, the nice thing about the fashion film at least as of right now it's our biggest, our broadest color selection. Mm -hmm. So all of the fashion type of trending colors you'll find here first. Although we're always adding uh, colors to every line and improving our offerings, uh, right now Fashion Film has the, the biggest array of colors for you. Right, and you can see that we are using a navy paired with a metallic gold. So Fashion Film does also have some special effect finishes in there as well. So right now what you're seeing is just our Fashion Film CAD Cut Metallic Gold, but we do offer some electric colors and they have been very popular because they have that sheen where it's not exactly foil-like, but it has enough metallic to it really, where it really shines when the light hits it. So what you're seeing here is our electric rose and it has that rose gold really popular finish that's really trendy in retail right now. Uh, so we just launched that about six months ago. Somewhere then, yep. And it has just been off the charts. People are loving it and they love working with it because it's so easy to use. So if you're looking for the electric colors, they are now together with the standard fashion film. So they used to have a separate category, mm -hmm. but now all grouped together in the whole fashion film family. So you can find them a lot easier there. Yeah, and we're constantly adding colors. So not only was the rose added, but we had a really pretty electric opal that has gone over very well with a lot of uh, decorators as well. You know, one thing that that sticky carrier will allow you to do, which I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with, is the two second tack, especially when you're doing two color type of deal. I can tack it for just a couple seconds and peel it right away. It helps maintain the integrity of the designs. When you're layering another on top of it, it doesn't shift and stretch and distort as much as it would had you waited for, uh, to be total, to give the full 15 second, 10, 15 second dwell time. Right. So, nice, and nice it also effect. speeds up your production time as well. All right. So that is fashion film. If we have any questions on that. Uh, no, looks like we answered them. Yeah, Evelyn, that was uh, just the regular CAD cut um, fashion film metallic gold, not the electric gold. So we have two different golds in there. Yeah, the metallic and the, the standard metallic, it's more of a sports type of metallic. Mm -hmm. It's not super glittery, so it's got a little more manly sheen to it there <laughs> when, when you're looking for a standard uh, metallic gold and silver. Right. All right, so next we have thermofilm. And thermofilm is used for, and I'm going to turn it on to the back so you can see more of the finish there. So this is um, our dye inhibiting material. So this is going to go well on any of your polyester meshes where it's been garment dyed. And this is going to actually keep any uh, dye migration from happening. So our whites are going to stay a true white and you're not going to see any... Um, of those dyes like coming through mm -hmm. it all. So yeah. no pinks in your whites right. or anything. And this is our flagship product. This is one we started with and it's still uh, unmatched. No one's touched it because one, it's perfect for on-field sports, mm -hmm. uh, for contact sports. So very abrasion resistant and going to really hold up very, very well when it comes to you know, as far as durability goes. Yeah, Not so one I would put on a little, maybe a little baby doll tee because it might be a little bit heavy, but, uh, but when it comes to actual uniforms, nothing touches it. Right, so it's definitely going to be a little bit thicker um, than your basic smooth heat transfer vinyl, such as the fashion film we just showed, which is 88 microns thick, and this range is around... Thicker. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, we did just recently add some new colors, and we are adding more colors to our thermofilm line. Uh, and the one you're seeing here that has, it was one of has been one of the newer additions is the Vegas Gold, and we also did a metallic silver as well. All right, so we're seeing a lot of uh, metallic finishes in jerseys as far as how the sports industry is really trending whenever it comes to how they're printing their jerseys, and metallic is a great addition. It really helps pop off the garment. 
Okay. All right, so for our next uh, sports vinyl, if you will, so we have our thermofilm, abrasion resistant, inhibits dyes. Then we have our premium plus. My and, fave. Yeah, it's my favorite too. So I premium. Said it first. <laughs> uh, premium plus has a nice stretch and rebound to it, and that's why a lot of people like it. Another reason is because it applies at that nice low temperature, so we're able to do 100% polyesters. Um, some products that have a little bit of rayon in it mm -hmm. uh, without scorching the fabric. So scorching is what we're trying to avoid whenever we're choosing the heat transfer vinyl that we want to use. So a lot of people go with the Premium Plus because we can print those hard to print items and not melt or scorch them. Yeah, you really, to really appreciate this, you have to be able to feel it because mm -hmm. it really does match the fabric when you're working with this uh, performance wear, these polyesters, it, you, it's hard to tell where it starts and stops. So that's what you're looking for. Nobody, the big objection to HTV, heat transfer vinyl sometimes, oh, I don't want to feel like a decal on a shirt, it feels mm -hmm. too plasticky. This really, really blends nicely with the fabric. Uh, and of course, like you said, low temp. And not just for sports, because that right. athleisure, the polyester is everywhere. So it's going to be a nice offering uh, for even your, you know, your corporate wear and spirit wear, et cetera. It doesn't have to be necessarily this a volleyball or soccer jersey. Okay, and I'm getting some questions on where the jersey that had the thermofilm on it is sourced from. And it looks like it is sourced from Teamwork Athletic, all right? So one of the brands at Teamwork Athletic. But there are a lot of other great sources sure. out there. Augusta Sportswear is phenomenal. So they do a lot of the trendier jerseys, such as the one you're seeing here. So we always recommend Teamwork Athletic and Augusta Sportswear uh, for jerseys. This one was also sourced from Teamwork Athletic. So this is a volleyball jersey. And again, that Premium Plus just has a nice stretch and rebound. There's no cracking or anything whenever it reaches that uh, stretchability. All right, so on that note, we get into a product that uh, we're really excited about here because it takes that product that we love, Premium Plus, and um, really increases its value because now we're able to get really fine detail with it. So it's gonna be called Premium Plus High Tech and it's going to launch on Wednesday the 17th. So we'll be in SGIA whenever it launches, so we'll be doing a lot of hands-on demos there with it. So if you'll be there, please stop by so we can show you it in person. Uh, for those of you that won't be here, I'm actually gonna weed one now so that you can see the amount of detail that we can get with the product. So it's still that premium plus heat transfer vinyl, it's just on a tackier carrier so that we can get nice detail with it. And before you ask, we're still holding on to the original formula of the regular Correct. Premium Plus. You'll have low-tech and high-tech options. Uh, we're also m mixing up the colors uh, gamut a little bit, making some of the colors a little truer to what they're supposed to be, the maroon, the navies, those type of things. We're going to a little standardize some color offerings. You'll see a little bit of change in that uh, going forward. But overall performance staying the same. Now we're just talking about the ability to do finer detail because it is a true hot peel with a sticky carrier. And she really gave herself a challenge here with some nice thin lines here, but you'll see that uh, when she gets all said and done, it's, uh, it's gonna hold up nicely. You'll also notice that some of my letters are peeling up, probably because I didn't have a nice enough of a downforce whenever I was cutting this real quick before we it's started our, our live. <laughs> yeah, um, but does. that tacky carrier is gonna save me for anything that's picking up off of this because my cutter Mm -hmm. wasn't on the right settings. It, it happens. This. It happens more times than not. So mm -hmm. nice good thing is you've got you, you got some backup there with mm -hmm. the sticky carrier. One thing we didn't mention uh, with both the Fashion Film and the Premium Plus, it's a matte finish. It is a true matte finish. So it's going to look more like ink, like a screen print type of transfer like we're like most people are looking for. Okay, got a little fixing to do. I'm gonna put these right back where those cut lines were. Anything that lifted up, just gonna tack right back down onto that carrier. Previous Premium Plus was more of a cool peel. You had to give it a few seconds before you had to lift it up, and um, which is not a bad thing, but a lot of us prefer the hot peel, which is why this is really going to, I think, going to be wildly popular. I think this is really going to take over as maybe your go-to material. Yeah, and it also works well with the uh, heated weeding panel and the uh, weeding table as well. I think I have one more thing in here. There we go. 
Okay, so you can see the amount of detail we were able to achieve with that, the really thin letters for the Mustangs, and then of, cor of course our cursive font. So I'm going to head to the heat press so that you can see the application. And today we'll be working with the Hotronics Fusion. All right, and I already have my temperature all set up in here for the Premium Plus application. I'm just going to rotate my 11 by 15 platen so that I'm working with the skinnier side of it for our slim fit tank top. All right, so I'm going to take this so that the seam is falling off of our platen so we have a nice flat surface area to work with. And before I apply, I'm going to release any moisture or wrinkles in the fabric so that we're getting a nice application. All right, I'm going to drop this design just below that seam so that it's not going too low. What temperature are you applying it? We're applying it 280. Nice. All right, and this is a cotton poly t-shirt from, or tank top from Boxer Craft. So you're really going to see that finish and how it's just not scorching whenever we apply it. So 280, 10 to 12 seconds, and a hot peel. All right, I'm going to hold it up to the camera just so you can see that true matte finish that it gets. There's no sheen there at all whenever the light hits it. All right, nice and thin, still has that give to it so that there's no cracking or anything whenever we apply that. All righty. So that is the Premium Plus High Tech, and that's the product we are so super excited about uh, for SGIA and that launching there. And do we have any questions so far? Fashion film, 280 to 330. Why is it so much? Why is there so much range? Um, okay, so fashion film actually applies at 320, mm -hmm. um, and Premium Plus applies at 280. So just so there's no confusion, Premium Plus will apply at 280, fashion film at the 320. Now we do give Premium Plus some range, so that if you're pairing it with any other product, you know that it's safe for being applied at a higher temperature. Yeah. Uh, so if I'm pairing Premium Plus with thermofilm for whatever reason, I know that I can get to that 330 degrees, mm -hmm. no problem, and my material is not going to be ruined. We also typically, when there's a range of low to high temps, typically the low temp is for your synthetics, like your polyesters and tri-blends and things like that. But as you get into natural fibers like cotton, there you can go to the higher, because first of all, you don't have the scorch issue, plus it, it adheres better with the higher temps into natural fibers. True. No all choice right. for that one. Okay, so that is Premium Plus, and again, the high tech will launch Wednesday. Uh, and then we get into our Gorilla Grip 2, and this one's really important to a lot of decorators because we always get a little confused on whether or not we can apply to nylon. All right, so we do have a uh, manufactured heat transfer vinyl that adheres to 100% nylon. So that's the white Coach John that you're seeing there. Um, and it, it has an adhesive so that it's a, applying strictly to nylon, so you do want to be a little careful on any coated nylons. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are able to apply two coated nylons as long as we are using the denatured alcohol, getting that um, coating off, and mm -hmm. then applying with the Gorilla Grip too. Yeah, yeah, it goes a long way. It's and it's really a nice matte finish, very thin type of material. Mm -hmm. So it's it, you're not losing anything because you had to go to nylon. It's just a couple extra steps because it is a two step process. Right. Okay. So nylon, pretty simple. Gorilla Grip too. Anytime you're uh, working with 100% nylon. All right, and then we have a silicone 200, and this is one of my favorites because it is uh, so unique in its finish. There's really nothing out there like it unless you are screen printing, but it has that true rubberized finish, true silicone feel whenever mm -hmm. it's on the garment. It doesn't feel too heavy, but it gives it a really unique look whenever it's applied because it is dimensional. Exactly. That's the word I was going to say, dimensional. It kind of stands off the, the garment just a little bit, but it's by design. It's very. It's what's trending right now for sure. Yeah, so if you're familiar with what uh, Nike and Under Armour are using on their product where it has that raised effect and it 
feels like a little rubber logo on mm -hmm. there. That's exactly what this product is. And um, it also blocks dye migration. So if you are working with uh, sublimated fabrics, then silicone is going to block any of that from migrating through. So it works both ways. You can either use it for the finish so that it has that special effect look and feel, or you can use it for um, the sublimated dyes. Yeah, and that's a big deal because while thermofilm has always been um, inhibiting the dye migration from natural garment dyes, this, you know, to date it's been very, very difficult, if not impossible, to stop dye migration from true sublimation dyes. And this finally does it. And it's an awesome product. All right, and Betty asks if you can layer on top of Premium Plus, and you can. Uh, since it does have that true smooth matte finish, there are no problems with any adhesives from other heat transfer vinyls adhering. Okay, and then we move into our special effect, and one of our most popular is Glitter Flake because of that true glitter texture that we're able to achieve and just how nicely it shines in the light. Anything to add? It's glitter. <laughs> it's glitter. It's glitter and it's not going away. <laughs> right. So it works uh, specifically for certain markets like cheer, dance. We're seeing a lot of cor incorporated into boutiques, boutiques now and mm -hmm. putting it on graphic tees and things like that. Uh, it, do, it does have a lower temperature now. So we were originally, uh, the formula was for 320 degrees, but we were able to drop that temp to 302. So if you are working with some heat sensitive fabrics and you just want to have have this effect on that type of fabrication, no problem because we dropped the temperature and now we're reducing the risk of scorching yeah. for those and There's a types crazy of amount of colors available too in right. the glitter flake. It's just no longer just the silver and gold and a couple extra ones with, I don't know, what are we up to, 50 or something like that? Uh, just below 60. Yeah, so there's yeah. a lot of colors there and no b upcharge for any of the neons. That's a big deal too. Oh yeah, huge deal. And now we are also offering all of our patterns in glitter. So if you are looking for a specific color of glitter that we might not offer, you can actually order it through mm -hmm. our patterns uh, portal and it will. you can choose the color that you want from a wide range of uh, colors that we have on there. Speaking of patterns. Speaking of patterns, that's what's up next. So I'll show you some applied garments before we dive into the website. Uh, but here is some real tree patterns. So we recently launched within the the past year uh, real tree to our patterns lineup. All right, so you can see there that that's one of the options that they offer, and it pairs nicely. And this is actually a best practices sort of thing. Anytime you're working with patterns, you do want to use a solid color with it so that it's really popping off the garment. You can see how easily this pattern may get lost in the t-shirt mm -hmm. just because of the color. So with adding that additional color in there really makes it pop off the garment more. All right, so that is real tree. And then we have that same buffalo plaid that we saw earlier uh, from Kelly that she submitted on the website. And we paired this with glitter flake. Okay, so one thing about our patterns is that you are able to choose what colors you want to go into that particular pattern. So I have the website brought up here, and this is all under our CAD cut. Uh, material vinyl and twill tab and I selected patterns and it brings me to this page here. So this is our lineup. We have Stalls Creative Studios, Realtree and Spectra. So just to talk a little bit on Spectra, if you are um, a past Imprintables Warehouse, warehouse customer, you are able to get their patterns that they had there through uh, this designer. So if you're looking for a pattern that you were ordering from them, we do have those in the Spectra tab. Then we have real tree, so we'll go ahead and bring that up. And we have to be a little careful about what colors we're able to select because we can't change the patterns that they're already offering. But we are able to change the real tree extra colors. So you can see one here in pink. We're able to go in here and choose a variety of different colorways that Stalls provides to us based off of uh, what is popular. So I'll go to select colors and it gives me a ton of different colors to choose from. So if I am looking for that certified camo that is specific to hunters and some other uh, retail looks, then this is what I would be looking for. All right, I'm gonna go back to our collection and choose our Stalls Creative Studios. 
All right, so this is where we house a lot of the patterns that we're creating in-house, and we've just recently launched a ton of new patterns. Uh, some of my favorite ones are in the Expressions tab because it really has those bright, vibrant colors, and it's really Lily Pulitzer inspired with some of these patterns. And one of my favorites is the Bohemian Dream. And you can see those generate up top. And then I'm able to select whatever colors I want to go into this pattern. So we do choose some colors for you that are popular. But you can change all of these out by just clicking on these little tabs here where I can change to whatever color I want. So this is the color palette that I get to choose from to put in any color that I see fit. All right. On top of that, we also have a lot of holiday patterns, and that, of course, is going to be under our Holidays tab. So all of the Halloween ones are going to generate first, and then um, we really just keep updating based off of what holidays are coming up. So right now, Halloween, some fall ones for Thanksgiving. This one's one of my favorites with the stripes incorporated. And then we get into Christmas since that's what's up next. All right. So those are, that's really just scratching the surface with patterns, just all that you can achieve with it. Like we said, you are able to get those in a glitter finish and that's all within checkout. So as soon as, you, as soon as you're going through the checkout process, you're able to choose whether you want it in the matte finish, the glitter finish, or what was newly added is our sign vinyl. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can get it in all of those three options. So keep that in mind with uh, gifting coming up and everything for the holidays. So you can really use those to your benefit. Yeah, a word of caution when you go onto this particular section of our site, you could be there a while. So <laughs> you know, just set yourself some time because you could, it gets addictive. You can in get there. lost. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so that is patterns. And then we have metallic. We have another awesome uh, announcement for that as well, but we'll, before we get ahead of ourselves, we'll just show you the finish. All right, so this is CAD Cut Metallic, and it looks almost identical to our adhesive and foil. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's nice about this is it's just a one-step application whenever we're at the heat press. So we're just cutting, weeding, and then applying at the heat press. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to lay down the adhesive and then the foil afterwards. Low temp application, mm -hmm. has nice stretchability to it as well. Uh, right now, uh, to date, it's just been in silver and gold, which are absolutely the top sellers. However, upcoming soon, some, probably sometime this week, we have four new colors that we'll be launching. Um, one is a pur purple. purple version. I'm not sure of the exact names, whether we'll be calling these you know, cute, cute names that, that mark it well. Then the next one is a light blue. Get an idea on that. All of them have that same mirror type of really cool finish. Then we have hot pink, which I think will be wildly popular. I think so too. Yeah, I'm anxious to really, use that. That one really stands out <laughs> nicely. And then of course the rose pink or the more of the almost like a rose gold type effect, which you just cannot get away from these days. So four new colors on the way should be very, very, very soon. Check your local listings. Yeah, so right now, if you are on the website, it is just silver and gold, but mm -hmm. these will be coming this week as well as the Premium Plus High Tech. And as most of our, our color lineups, we have intentions of adding to these additionally oh, as yes. the months go forward. Mm -hmm. So just keep watching and looking. All right, so that is our CAD cut heat transfer vinyl, and then we have our adhesive and foil. So that is the two-step process not going away. We're still keeping that around just because there are so many unique things that you can oh, yeah. do with it. Uh, so if you are already working with adhesive and foil, we know that as soon as we hit the uh, first application, again, we're able to get a low luster finish. So when I applied this the first time, it was just that true mirror finish. Then when I hit it the second time with a heat press, it gave us that low luster. So it's not going to have as much as, a, as much of a high shine as the regular. It's more like a brush metallic look. Right. Yep. Yeah. So this is still wildly popular. So uh, a lot of people actually choose this application as opposed to sure. the other because they like that finish. Well, there's a lot of color selections and patterns mm -hmm. available within that line as well. So, and you also get the ability to do a distressed type of look as well. That's not the shirt I'm looking for. This is, here we go. All right, so uh, this is the distress effect that Bob was just talking about. And this is why a lot of people are really liking the process of the adhesive and foil because we're able to get two color within 
our application by distressing the first piece of foil, mm -hmm. laying that down with some void areas in there. And if you're way confused by what I'm trying to describe right now, <laughs> there are a ton of videos on YouTube. So if you're interested in how this application is done, uh, we do the step-by-step -step on YouTube multiple times. So you can go ahead and check that out. All right, so that is adhesive and foil, and then we have hologram, which is still widely popular. Uh, so this is a tone on tone. This was actually paired with our uh, metallic silver fashion film, and then we have our hologram. All right, so it still has a real high shine to it, and it actually has some iridescence in it. So it's a little dimensional in that it has some prism in it, mm -hmm. um, and it is a little bit thicker on the garment, but not so thick that it gets uncomfortable or anything right. like that. Um, CPSIA compliant, which is um, a question we get often on the hologram, just because it has a different feel to it. Uh, so definitely safe for children's apparel as well as the glitter flake as well. Everything we have on our lineup is CPSIA mm -hmm. compliant, so rest easy. <laughs> All right, and hologram is actually widely used for uh, faux rhinestones as well. Right, right. It's a poor man's rhinestone. It's a <laughs> quick way to do it because you're just basically cutting out the design, and it seems like it would be. If you don't think about it, it seems like it would take forever, but you're really just pulling everything off. You're just cutting little circles and everything else comes off that doesn't look like a rhinestone. So from a distance, you can't tell the difference. And it's actually nice when you're worried about children's wear, things like that. You don't want something that's that's scratchy or mm -hmm. something could be abrasive or even possibility of one of them coming out a little guy swelling those things. <laughs> right. All right, so then we move into our reflectives, and this is where I think it's really important to break these down because we do offer three different ones, and sometimes it can be confusing on what we should be using for when. And this is our 3M reflective. So this will be the ANSI certified uh, heat transfer vinyl that you're going to use for the um, jobs that require the certain classifications on what type of reflective uh, they should be wearing at night or in low lit situations. Mm -hmm. Typically right. any type of roadside worker is going to require an mm -hmm. ANSI certified type of vinyl. That's why the mm -hmm. 3M reflective is there. Although if you've got a pre-made um, garment like this one that has the re required amount of s square inches of ANSI certified reflect, reflect vinyl on it, you can pretty much use whatever you want, but a lot of municipalities will call it out and say, no, you have to, so you, you, you follow suit. Right. All right, and if you're not looking for one that has to be ANSI certified and one that is definitely more economically priced, we have our Reflective 2 as well. So this is being used a lot in retail and some of those um, urban wear applications just for the effect that it gives whenever it is lit up with that light. Uh, so it's 40% less than 3M Reflective, only comes in silver though. All right, so 3M and Reflective 2 only offer that silver finish, uh, but it still shines almost just as bright. Right. Uh, so definitely effective for uh, using for outerwear as well. Yeah. So if you're exercising, you're out on, uh, running alongside the road, you're cycling, that always happens before or after work, it gets dark, mm -hmm. you need that, you need that, that safety uh, of the, what the re Reflective can bring to you. Right, now if you're looking for something that has color and reflective, we do offer our high-vis color reflect. This is right. way cool. Yeah, so this it has the color, and then as soon as that bright light hits it, it's actually going to show silver. All right, so this is our pink. Can you hold that for me? I suppose. <laughs> uh, this is the yellow. Right, so right now they're really shining bright from our studio lights here, uh, but you can see some of the color whenever I tilt it a little bit. And I also brought in our black, which kind of gives a nice tone on tone effect. All right, so again, as soon as the bright lights hit this from a car or a flash from a camera, it's gonna shine bright white. But these are just a few of the colors that we offer. So I think we're offering eight colors now, correct? Sounds about right. <laughs> Six or eight, I can't remember what all launched, uh, but well, we have well, the sorry. reds and the orange, your basic ones that we that usually launch anytime there's a new product, green is in there. So there are a lot of colors to choose from, uh, but also works well for any of those construction workers that need color during the day and then that safety effect at night or in low lit situations. All right, so we've cover covered 3M, Reflective 2, and high vis So those are our three reflectives. And we also just launched um, a whole range of colors to our Flock 2 mm -hmm. product. So these are some of the colors. 
that launch. So the bright yellow. So the colors are actually uh, more true to color. Yeah. Uh, so they're a lot brighter. They stand out and they actually match some of the school colors um, that we were trying to match before. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is just a new flock. We originally had just a regular flock, but this is flock two, so it does have a higher pile, gives that more uh, dimensional feel, and is still a great alternative for people who need a low um, cost option for embroidery. Right. And in keeping with the what to use when, it, it really does a nice job when you're trying to do things like like towels and anything that's got a, a, an actual fabric feel, a texture type of feel, so that it matches you know the actual fabric that you're putting it on, so it doesn't kind of stand out as something kind of plasticky. But does a nice job of, uh, I've used it actually on like uh, plush blankets, that type of thing. Okay, and the quarter zip was sourced from Sanmar. It is in their Sport Tech line. Um, the name of the raised vinyl, like Under Armour Silicone 200. Right. It's also called Silicone Dye Block 200. Let's not forget that part. While it's really cool, that dye blocking is a big, big deal. Absolutely. All right, and that completes our lineup for the heat transfer vinyl that we were going over today. I think we reached just about every single one, uh, except for a few in there. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in. We'll be checking after the broadcast mm -hmm. to make sure we have all your questions asked. And we do have a live class coming up this Thursday where Mike Koval will be going over Great Dane graphics and how to use their art to increase profitability in your designs at your shop. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.